Hi Math, today I'm going to show you the log rules. I'm going to leave this video at the top because you're going to want to refer back to it. I also strongly recommend that you have these rules written down somewhere because you're going to want them. All right, so there's four. Start with the product rule. Okay, basically the log of a product is equal to a sum of those logs. Typically you use it in the other direction though. So I've got these two logs being added together. They have the same base, which is important. This isn't something you could calculate directly. Well, this one is. Um, but you can actually bring the two big numbers as the same log. So if you're adding logs, it's the product of a single log. Okay, so 8 times 2 is 16. And we can do this one really easy because 4 to the power 2 equals 16. Okay, so that's the product rule. A log of a product is the same as the sum of those two logs. Quotient rule is really similar. If you're taking the log of a quotient, you can subtract those logs, but typically it's more useful in the other direction. So I'm subtracting these two logs. I have no idea how to calculate these off the top of my head. 5 to the power what equals 50? No idea. All right? But you can make them one log. 50 divided by 2 is 25. This is real easy. 5 to the power 2. So our answer is 2. Okay. Power rule. This one you won't use nearly as much. Uh, if you're taking the log of something raised to a power, the power can actually be brought in front and multiplied by the log. So 2 times a log is equal to log of something to the power of 2. Okay, so 2 log 6 equals log of 36. This one I can't solve yet, but I can with the pow uh, change of base rule. Check it out. If you want to calculate a log that you can't, like I don't know 3 to the power of what equals 36, I have no idea. This is super useful, guys. You can just divide, take log of the big number, divide by log of the little number. So log 36 divided by log 3 is 3.26. Now I'll point out, the way I've written it, log without a base is base 10, but the base can be anything. So you could actually do natural logs if you want. Remember the ln? We don't use them much, but if I do ln 36 divided by ln 3, I get the answer. It doesn't matter what the base is. Okay. So these are the log rules. I'm going to follow this up with a lot of examples. I spent a couple days on it. That's why I'm going to leave this video pinned to the top. That's why we're doing tutorials this week. I invite you to email me anytime, hop into a Zoom with me anytime, because I'm going to help you with this log stuff. All right.